Hey Penguin Army, it's your boy Ray here, and today I'm going to be talking about something and basically answering a question that I've been asking for a long time. So we had Battlefield 3 when it first came out, we sold it, and uh, some other stuff like that, but we borrowed it from a friend for a little bit, and I decided to go ahead and play it. But, I always ask myself, what does this HD pack thing that pops up actually mean? Now, when you first start up the game, the first time ever you start up the game, it'll say install HD content pack basically and this is a free download it doesn't cost you anything it's like 1.6 gigabytes or somewhere around there it's at least a gigabyte so just keep that in mind but I never installed it so I was like you know what I'll do this I'll make a video on it I'll look and see does the video from non HD to HD look any different now the gameplay you're currently seeing on the screen right now is non HD okay it's not HD alright so it's not HD content pack I'll even put a uh, text on the screen okay now let's go ahead and look at a screenshot that I took while in game without the HD content pack so as you can see right here there is a railing in front of me and it kind of, it, it's it's a beautiful scenery and everything like that but Overall, it's not going to impact anything right in front of your face. Now, what I mean is it's not going to impact what the mini-map looks like. It's not going to impact what your, your health meter displays, what your ammo looks like. However, I've noticed with the HD content pack, as you'll see in the next screenshot, it adds a little bit more shadowing on your gun in some places that it normally wouldn't without it. So let's go ahead and take a little bit of a look here. You'll notice on the e Eve Axo, I guess that's what it's called, the e Axo trailer, You'll notice that the edges at the top of it are a bit rough. You see that? They look a bit bumpy. You see that? Now keep in mind, this is without the HD content pack. It looks a bit rough and bumpy. And you notice on the left here, there's crumbling of the building, which doesn't look that, that very detailed. There's the paint on the building, which doesn't look that very detailed. And then there's some stuff that's a bit edgy and bumpy. And it doesn't look smooth and stuff like it normally should. Let's go ahead and switch over to the HD content pack picture that I took. This is on the exact same map, however, in a different place. I like to play Conquest a lot, and this is taken at the A, at the area container. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look. There is another Evaxo, I'm, I guess that's how you pronounce it. There's another one of those trailers, but take a look. Look at the edge on the end of that, okay? It's a lot more smooth than opposed to the one in the non-HD one. The non-HD one was actually closer than that one, okay? But it had rough edges, okay? This one is a little bit, like, it's about, like, maybe eh, a little bit further away, but it doesn't have that rough edges as it normally would. Now, same thing. There is a crate over up on the top left-hand corner of the screen. You can see, and look at the edges on it. They're not rough. They're completely smooth. So, it's not really going to impact, you know, it's not going to impact that much of your gameplay. It will add a couple of times. It'll add a bit more shadowing on your gun. As you can see right here on the HD content pack, I'll post the picture up again to show you. You can see on the gun there's a bit of shadowing. Just a little bit, just a little bit. But it's not that much. But it's just a little bit there. You can kind of notice it, but it's not going to improve your gameplay at all. So basically what this does is it makes it so when you see crumbling of buildings, it makes it more sharp and clear. And everything up close is a bit more clear and stuff. But as far as far in the distance goes, if you're looking like some, if you're a sniper and you're looking all the way down there, it's not really going to do anything that much. Like you can get on top of a building and then look like all the way at the enemy spawn right and it's not gonna look clear so basically it just makes everything close up to you look a bit more crystal clear non rough edged and it smooths out all the edges and makes it a bit better so that's basically it it's not really gonna help improve your gameplay that much but I have noticed it it does add a bit more shadowing in some places. Like I said on the gun, it seems a bit more shadowy at some places. And it adds a bit more, you know, foreshadow in between like crates and buildings and stuff like that where it normally wouldn't have. But it's not really going to impact the gameplay that much. I mean, whether you use it or you don't use it, it's not really going to do anything that 
it's not going to improve anything dramatically. The only thing it's there for is to help you basically to basically help make it so the game looks so much smoother and sharper and all stuff like that. So overall, it's not going to improve your gameplay, but it is nice to have it downloaded and get a bit more crisper graphics from the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.